What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope that your day is going amazing. And if it's not, then I hope that after this video, you feel uplifted, you feel motivated, you feel inspired to go and conquer your day. And just remember that today is a great day to be alive. In this workout, it is going to be an at-home workout. And all you will need is resistance bands. <laughs> now, if you do not have these, I did put them in my April favorites video. They are cheap. You can get them off of Amazon. I explained all about them there. So if you want to see that, then go to the description box below. And if you want to buy them, they will be linked to that video. Now, if you do not have these, that is a-okay because you can still do these workouts, no excuses. You're still going to get your heart rate up. You're still going to work that lower body, get the amazing booty pump that we all want for our selfies. So, no excuses, you can still do this workout. How this workout is going to work, you are going to do three rounds of this, okay? So there's six different exercises and each exercise is going to be 30 seconds long. Doesn't sound hard, right? After you complete all six, you're going to take a one minute break and then you're going to repeat it two more times. Workout can be easy or it can be hard. It's going to be how hard you push yourself. As always, don't forget to subscribe on your way out and give this video a thumbs up as well. I do appreciate it lots, guys. It really does mean the world to me. It does get my face out there into the world and able to share this knowledge with others. And as always, follow my social media. All the names are in the description box below. And without further ado, guys, let's get to the workout. We are kicking off this circuit with jump squats. Remember, each exercise is 30 seconds. Now what you are going to do is, if you have the resistance bands, place the resistance band just slightly above your knee on your thighs, go shoulder width stance apart, drop down to 90 degrees or lower if you can do that, and push through the floor, jump as high as you can, squeeze your glutes, land softly back on the ground on the balls of your feet, drop back into that 90 degrees, and jump again for 30 seconds. Now in jump squats, they're one of the hardest things, the best way to get your heart rate up, and you are going to be feeling it in your quads, your hamstrings, your core, your lower back, and even some of your upper body, and also your glutes, of course. So. Do this for 30 seconds, and then we will move on to the next exercise. Next, we have our standing hamstring curls. Now, what you're going to do is put the band on the ground, step your one foot in that you're going to balance with, and the leg that you're going to be working, put that around your ankle. When doing these, if you need to hang on to something, do that, hang on to a counter. Now, if you're feeling more advanced, then you could definitely do these balanced. When you are doing them balanced, you're definitely going to feel it a lot more in your inner outer thigh just due to balancing, but make sure you keep your core tight, that is most important, and do really slow and controlled standing hamstring curls. You're going to bring your foot up to your booty so your heel will hit your booty just about, and then you will bring it slow and controlled back down, and you will repeat that for 30 seconds. Next, we have our banded glute hip thrust. So with these guys, you're going to lay flat on the floor, have your legs bent at about a 45 degree angle, and you are going to put the band around your thighs slightly above your knees, and then you are going to push your hips up to the ceiling as high as you can. Make sure that your legs are about just a smidgen further than shoulder width apart. That's just where I feel it most. That's where I feel my glute engagement and my hamstring. So with that, you'll keep shoulder blades on the ground and push your hips up to the ceiling. Now, if you're not feeling an engagement with your feet flat on the ground, you're not feeling really that glute hamstring connection, then put your toes to the ceiling and balance on your heels and then do the same motion. That is what I do and I honestly feel it every single time. It is very difficult and engages your hamstrings and your glutes and I promise you, you're going to feel it and you'll repeat that for 30 seconds. Next up, we have our lying lateral hip abductions. So with these guys, you're going to lay on your side and you are going to have the band around both of your legs on your thighs, again, just slightly above your knee and you're going to prop yourself up on your arm, so you're gonna have your forearm and you're going to use your other hand to 
balance. And then you are going to keep your feet together. So while you keep your feet together, you are going to raise your leg. You're kind of going to do like a butterfly, I guess it would look like, or frog, one or the other. But keep your feet together and raise your leg and slowly and controlled bring it back down. Now this will target your glutes and your core. So make sure that you are very slow and controlled and repeat this for 30 seconds. Next up you guys have your squat lateral extension. So with these you're going to have your feet shoulder width apart. The band is going to be around both legs on your thighs just slightly above your knees and you're going to squat down to about 90 degrees like you're sitting on a chair. Make sure you are, your booty's back, your knees aren't going over your toes and when you come back up from that squat position you are pushing through your heels. And right when you come back up to that squat position this is where your side lateral extension comes in. You're going to kick to the right and then you will go back down into that squat position and pop back up and kick to the left. And that will be one rep. Make sure that you stay balanced, you really engage your core, you're going to feel this in your glutes and in your quads, you're going to feel it everywhere. If you are not balanced and it's just a little bit too hard, then hang on to something, hang on to a counter, a wall, a chair, whatever you can find around your house. Now you're going to repeat that for 30 seconds and we will move on to just Two more things guys, two more. You're almost through, I know you can do it. Next up we have our donkey kicks. So like always, you're gonna repeat this for 30 seconds. Now this one is also a little awkward to get into and it is a little awkward at first to get the rhythm of this motion with the resistance band. So what you're going to do is you're going to stick one side of the resistance band around your leg. So the non-working leg, you're going to stick it around that and put it slightly above your knee, under your knee, so that you're holding it down. Now you're going to stick your leg, that your working leg, through the resistance band, put it around your foot, the base of your foot, and kick up. Now, it's very difficult, so I want you to keep trying, do not give up, and repeat this for 30 seconds. Your glutes are going to be on fire. I was very surprised at how much more difficult this was with the resistance band than what I normally do in the gym. So I'm definitely going to be incorporating these more because my glutes were on fire and these definitely help you get that little butt lift. Last and final one guys, you have made it. Last one, I'd stance walking squats. Yes, so what you're going to do is put the resistance band around your thighs slightly above your knees and you're going to get in a wide stance so it's a little bit further than shoulder width apart. You're going to drop down to 90 degrees like you're sitting in a chair and you're going to go heel toe, heel toe, walking forward about five to 10 steps, just a matter of how much room you have in your house. And then you're going to walk backwards, toe to heel, toe to heel, toe to heel, as you're walking backwards about five to 10 steps. And you're going to stay in that squat position the whole 30 seconds. Do not get up. Whatever you can do, stay down in that squat position. It's only 30 seconds, guys. I know you can do it. So, guys, you have made it through. You've done it. And now you're going to repeat all six of these exercises two more times. Take that one minute break, sip on your BCAAs, get some water, whatever you gotta do to repeat this two more times. I know you can do it, I know you're capable of it. You can do anything you set your mind to. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this workout and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.